Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will talk about the cultivation process of a leafy vegetable spinach crop. Spinach has different names in different languages. In Hindi, it is popularly called Palak. Many delicacies can be prepared with Palak like Palak ke pakode, Palak ki dal and Palak paneer. The botanical or scientific name of Palak is Spinacea oleracea and it belongs to the family Amaranthaceae. Spinach is a very common leafy vegetable which grows in the tropical regions of India. The nativity of spinach crop can be traced to the Indo-Chinese regions. Spinach is an annual plant which grows to a height of 30 cm. The leaves are alternate, simple, ovate and triangular. The size of spinach crop also varies from about 2 to 30 cm long and 1 to 15 cm broad. It comes with larger leaves at the base and small leaves at the flowering stem. Spinach can grow throughout the year under mild temperature conditions. It can tolerate, it can tolerate frost and also warm weather conditions. But very high temperature leads to premature bolting without giving proper yield. Spinach crop thrives best at temperatures between 15 degrees centigrade to 20 degrees centigrade. Spinach can also tolerate a minimum temperature of 10 degrees centigrade and a maximum temperature of 32 degrees centigrade. Let us now see the different stages involved in the cultivation process of spinach crop. The stages are land preparation, seed sowing, irrigation, weeding, pest and disease management, harvesting and yield. Let us now see how the land is prepared in the cultivation process of spinach crop. Spinach can grow in all types of soil. However, sandy loam soil is most suitable for its cultivation. Spinach tolerates slightly alkaline soil. A pH of 7 in neutral soils will give better yields. At the time of soil preparation, apply 25 tons of farmyard manure along with 50 kgs of nitrogen per hectare. Application of 25 kgs of nitrogen per hectare after each cutting followed by a light irrigation is required. The soil is prepared by ploughing with country plough or chisel plough four to six times and then leveling by planking. The beds and irrigated channels are made before sowing seeds in the field. To improve germination, seeds are soaked in water overnight before sowing. Sowing can be done either by broadcast method or by line sowing. Spinach grows throughout the year. The most suitable months for sowing are September to October in plains, March to May in hilly regions. For winter crop, 10 to 15 kgs of seeds per hectare and for summer crop, 25 to 30 kgs of seeds per hectare is required. Once seed sowing is complete, the entire field has to be irrigated. We will now learn about the irrigation process. First irrigation takes place immediately after sowing. Seeds germinate and small spinach plants emerge from the soil in 6 to 7 days. Spinach is a humidity loving plant and rainy season crop does not require much irrigation. Irrigation is required at an interval of 4 to 6 days during summer and 10 to 12 days during winter. 
fertigation helps in fulfilling the nutritional requirement of crop fertigation means allowing water soluble fertilizers through irrigation fertigation increases the yield of spinach crop along with spinach crop weeds also grow so 2 to 3 hoeing come hand weeding can control the weeds and also help loosen the soil for proper aeration let us now talk about pest and disease management in the cultivation process of spinach crop spinach crop can be attacked by pests such as spinach leaf miner and aphids the diseases that attack spinach crop are downy mildew damping off root rot and spinach blight or yellows we need to spray specific insecticides and fungicides to control these pest and disease attacks to control spinach leaf miner we can spray insecticide azadirectin aphids can be controlled with the use of insecticidal soaps Spraying of fungicide Fusetil controls the downy mildew disease. Damping off can be controlled by spraying fungicide Mefenoxam. Growing resistant varieties and cultivars is the only controlled method for stopping spinach blight or yellow disease. The crop is ready for first cutting. after 35 to 40 days of sowing cut off outer leaves which are 3 to 4 inches long this will encourage better growth of the plant and ultimately result in more foliage to harvest only well grown succulent and tender leaves are to be trimmed winter crop gives more cuttings on an average palak crop gives 4 to 6 cuttings total yield of green leaves is 80 to 100 quintals per hectare after harvesting the leaves are washed trimmed graded and bunched before selling in market remember to harvest completely before plant blots and produces seeds thank you for watching our tutorial on the cultivation process of spinach crop stay connected with tutorialspoint.com to watch our next tutorials on the cultivation process of different crops tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning